I'll start all the way at the end. Thank you, Mr. President. Appreciate it. Well, you're not all the way at the end, but that's okay. You're up. <laughs> Um, as leader of the Democratic Party, how much responsibility do you take for the dismal results in Virginia and beyond last night? Well, look, yesterday reminded me of uh, that one of the sacred rights we have is to be able to go out and cast our votes. And remember that we all have an obligation to accept the legitimacy of these elections. I was talking to Terry to congratulate him today. He got 600,000 more votes than any Democrat ever has gotten. We brought out every Democrat about there was, more votes than ever has been cast for a Democratic incumbent. I'm not incumbent, a Democrat running for governor. And no governor in Virginia has ever won when he's of the same or he or she's the same party as a sitting president. What I do know is, I do know that people want us to get things done. They want us to get things done. And that's why I'm continuing to push very hard for the Democratic Party to move along and pass my infrastructure bill and my Build Back Better bill. I think if we look, think about what, we, what we're talking about here. People are upset and uncertain about a lot of things, from COVID to school to jobs to a whole range of things and the cost of the, the, a gallon of gasoline. And so if I'm able to pass sign in the law, my Build Back Better initiative, I'm in a position where you're going to see a lot of those things ameliorated quickly and swiftly. So, so that has to be done. President, given what you said, do you take some responsibility and do you think that Terry McAuliffe would have won if your agenda had passed before Election Day? Well, uh, I think we should have, should have passed before Election Day. But I'm not sure that I would be able to have changed the number of very conservative folks who turned out in the red districts who were Trump voters. But maybe, you maybe. Won the state by 10 points, Mr. No, I, I, I know we did, but I, we also, I was running against Donald Trump. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President. I have, what should Democrats possibly do differently to avoid? similar losses in November, especially as Republicans are now successfully running on culture war issues and false claims about critical race theory? Well, I think we should produce for the American people. Look, one of the things that is important to understand, if, uh, if they pass my legislation, we're going to be able to reduce the price. People are going to see a reduction in the price of the drugs they, they have to get because Medicare will be able to negotiate and lower the price of drugs. If they pass my legislation, you're going to see that nobody, and some of you who have children in, uh, in, in daycare or children in child care, you're paying up to $14,000 a year if you live here. You will never have to pay that much money if you live in Washington or wherever you live, no more than 17 per 7 of your income. They're going to see that, uh, you know, uh, they'll get tax breaks, I mean, genuine tax breaks. If that's Trump, to tell them I'm busy. <laughs> bad, bad joke. But anyway, but the, but, 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 but the point is that, you know, we have to move and make it clear that what we've done is increasing their — look, people — people need a little breathing room. They're overwhelmed. And what happened was, uh, I think we have to just produce results for them to change their standard of living and give them a little more breathing room. What's your message, though, for Democratic voters, especially black voters, who see Republicans running on race, education, lying about critical race theory, and they're worried that Democrats don't have an effective way to push back on that? Well, I think that uh, the whole answer is just to speak the truth, lay out where we are. Look, um, I'm convinced that if you look at everything from my view on the criminal justice system to my view on equal opportunity to my view on economic issues and all the things that I have and what I've been pushing in legislation, each of the elements are overwhelmingly popular. We have to speak to them, though. We have to speak to them and explain them. Look, I just think people are at a point, and it's understandable, where there's a whole lot of confusion. Everything from, are you going to ever get COVID under control, 
to are my kids going to be in school? Are they going to be able to stay in school? To whether or not uh, um, I'm going to get a tax break that allows me to be able to pay for the needs of my kids and my family. And they're all things that we're that we're gonna that I'm running on, that we'll run on, and I think we'll do fine. Mr. President, uh, Mr. President, Mr. President.